After nearly 80 years, baseball is once again a collegiate sport at Wilberforce University. And as our Brad Underwood explains, the team is back thanks to some help from the Cincinnati Reds. Each swing of the bat seems to come with a smile in Xenia as baseball is back at Wilberforce University. Everybody's excited. Everybody's asking when's the home games and what's the date, what time, and you know, it's going to be exciting once we get rolling. This spring not only marks the start of a new season, it's the start of something special. Thanks to a partnership with the Reds, MLB's first team, the country's first privately run historic black college is back on the field for the first time since 1947. That was one of the things that um, you know brought me in, that made me want to come here. So um, you know, it's, it's you can feel it when you're out here being part of the history. So it's, it's good. Edison Galan Jr. is a transfer student from Central Connecticut. Joe Mindy is from Dayton. We got guys from Florida, guys from New York, everywhere. So it's pretty neat, like many people from different places because they have different perspectives of things. But it's pretty cool, like we're trying to build that team bond. A bond that head coach Roosevelt Barnes says continues to grow. Just a, a group of guys with uh, good character, uh, very diverse backgrounds, uh, but uh, we all come together as a family. Stay on that plane, stay through it. There you go. Barnes comes to Wilberforce from LaSalle High School, but also the Reds RBI League, where he won the RBI World Series in 2021. It's really like a dream come true just for me and uh, you know a lot of these guys on the team. Barnes says about 90% of the roster is made up of kids who've played in the MLB RBI programs around the country, including Cincinnati. Well, we're really proud of that. Uh, you know, this is what uh, the academy uh, was intended for uh, when we built it in 2014. That pride is easy to see on the field. All of these players know just what this season means as they remember the young men who played for Wilberforce nearly 80 years ago. In Xenia, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. The partnership is about more than just baseball and education. There are plans to employ some of the young men or provide internships in the game of baseball.